Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. Three, 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 three. Yeah. Yeah. In 1982, he was a young defenseman hoping to play for the Washington Capitals. Instead, they saw coaching in his future. Before the Stanley Cup, before all the wins, before he was even a coach, it was here in Dauphin, Manitoba, during the cold winters that Barry Trotz fell in love with the game of hockey. Just growing up in Dauphin, you know, I was a rink rat. Remember playing street hockey uh, all day long. Uh, you know, on, on a Saturday, your house league game, uh, you play that, and then in the afternoon, I'd go back to the outdoor rink. Usually around 10 o'clock, my dad would have to come and get me because we were still on the ice uh, hacking around on a Saturday. The local team is the Dauphin Kings, and Saturday nights are spent at the rink. Growing up, Dauphin was a great hockey town, and the hockey team was the center of the, of the pride when I was growing up, and they were the focus of the town. I thought they were all gods. At the age of 15, Barry made the team he grew up idolizing, but his parents had concerns. My dad, out of his wisdom, didn't think it was a real good idea that a 15-year-old hang around with a bunch of 20-year-olds. I wasn't going to get a lot of ice time, so I, uh, I was looking to go to Winnipeg and play AAA. A guy that I, I went to school with and, and played hockey all my life with uh, says, why don't you come to Notre Dame? He was going to Notre Dame at the time. And I said, well, I, my, my family can't afford it. Lo and behold, you know, that was a Saturday and Monday, I got a call from Martin Kenny, who was the president of the college at the time, and, and said, you know, come and check it out and we'll figure it, figure it out. Barry set out to Wilcox, Saskatchewan and the Athel Murray College of Notre Dame, where he credits his formation into who he is today. When you come out of Notre Dame, there's a, a transformation. You know, I talked to my, my parents when I came home the first time. To this day, they said, you were just different and in a very good way. I look back at that as, as maybe the, the thing that changed my life. Barry had never forgotten his childhood dream to become a Dauphin King, and in 1982, he came home. Went back to my hometown and uh, played junior, and we won the Manitoba Saskatchewan Championship. It was fun. I had a real great time. The fans came out, and uh, it really brought the town together. At the age of 23, he became the King's head coach. Living with his parents and making $1,000 a month, he sold suits on the side to get by, but it was back home where he found his true calling. He moved up through junior hockey and then the AHL with great success, winning the Calder Cup with the Portland Pirates. The NHL came calling in 1998 when the expansion Nashville Predators named Trotz its first ever head coach. He would spend 15 seasons in Nashville. Right there, go, go! But it was his move to Washington where his dreams came true. The Washington Capitals are Stanley Cup champions for 2018. A summer of celebration was also a season of change as Trotz left the Capitals to become the head coach of the New York Islanders. Through his travels, his challenges, and his great success, Barry Trotz will always call Dauphin home. Would you please welcome Stanley Cup champion and New York Islanders head coach Dauphin Jones, Barry Trotz. They're just salt of the earth people. It's a farming community, good people, a lot of pride in the town. It was a good place growing up. Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store.